what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to replace the front turn signals on the gssr 1000r and we are going to install flush mount signals so stay tuned right after this <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do first, I am going to install uh, rear spools on the bike so I can sit the bike upright and I can work efficiently. So as you see, I got the bike on the stand, we installed the spools. By the way, they, these are the first upgrades on this bike. We do have a fender delete kit, uh, that's going to be another video. So we're going to go ahead and proceed. So in order to replace these front turn signals, there are some rivets back here. These rivets here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take all this black uh, fairings and we're gonna remove these fairings so we can have access to our wiring. All right, so here's our first step. We're gonna pop these rivets in. These are pushing rivets. This is the following step after you remove these fairings. You gotta unclip these uh, connectors here. Once you unclip these connectors here, you get a, a socket and you can remove, start undoing that screw to remove the turn signals. So we're gonna go ahead and proceed doing that. As you see, this one is gray. Uh, usually on turn signals, they, they they separate them by colors. So that way you know which is which. That one, the first one I removed was black. This one is gray. Okay, so what we're gonna install are these uh, hot bodies, flush mount, LED turn signals. And the reason we chose these is because there were other options out there, but I didn't like the other options because, for an example, like TST Industry, their lights are not flush mount. They look like a knuckle, so they do protrude out and they look like this. And I didn't like that, so I wanted something more flush. So I found these online. These are from Hot Bodies. The only part that you guys might not agree if you're looking for a quick install is that on these, they don't come with connectors. So basically, you gotta take this off. Once you remove this, cut the, cut the connector wires and then solder it to this. Cause I don't like doing solder, you can use these, but they doesn't seal the wires from corrosion. So that's why I don't use these, uh, these clamp connect, uh, attachments, whatever you wanna call them. I like to solder them and you shrink to me, heat them up, and it seals it together. That prevents corrosion. So, like I was saying, you know, I cut those wires off, solder them to this one, and that's the only thing that you guys might not agree. If you like, do like the flush mount, you could use these connectors. I don't like using them, but the TNT, the TNT industry do have connectors so that's plug and play so if you guys want to go at that route you can but i stick with these all right so the first thing we want to do is we want to pull this wire is this uh, clip back and loosen up this nut this nut 
holds the turn signal. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the opposite side. Now, the gray one is the left. Black one is the right. I have the words, the letters facing, so this will be my right, this will be my left because of the letters. All right, so I separate the right from the left. So the first thing I need to do is cut these wires because I gotta solder this connection to this. I'm gonna cut it because we ain't gonna no longer need these. These would never go back on the bike. Cut it right there, trim it, just like that. I'm gonna take these, find shrink tubing. It's gonna fit these, this one. Put oh, size up. Some more here. All contact surface. So that's good. Now I gotta do the same. Actually, these are already done. I gotta completely remove these. Because I got that big shrink to it. I like to plan out how I'm gonna solder my wire then add my shrink tubing because like I said the shrink tubing aspect for me is is one of the most important parts so I'm slicing down carefully just enough me to pull this open yeah and stretch it I don't want to cut that off because I want that to be covered with the sleeve so I just want to give myself some room so when I put the shrink tubing, it's back here. And when I do my soldering, it doesn't heat up the whole wire and, and pretty much melt the, sh the shrink tubing in this location. Because I got to slide it forward to uh, shrink it at this location. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a test first. From right to left. Make sure I, got the, I don't reverse the polarities before I go soldering my ass away. So, now we know that this wiring might be wrong. So let me flip it around. Put the black with the black and white. There we go. So it's white, black on white and black, and red on black. So black on black. So now I'm going to take these apart. I'm going to stretch these wires out. I'm going to take the small shrink tubing. Add the small shrink tubing. Lock it. Let that heat up.
myself a little slack. So that's the first one, nice and soldered. Let's grab another small shrink tube in. Doesn't that look much, a whole lot nicer? All right guys, so we're gonna put everything back. When you put this back, make sure there's a little circle in there. Make sure it locks into that circle. You don't want it on the top, you don't want it on the side because otherwise it's gonna be flapping with the wind and it's, it's gonna make a noise and you're gonna be wondering what's that noise coming from. So we're gonna go ahead and put this together. I'm not gonna record, see it, it's going in the hole. That don't sound right, but it's the truth. And I'm going to put everything back together. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so that wraps it up for this video. Uh, as you see, we got the turn signals on. So stay tuned for the next video. We're going to do a uh, fender delete. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. We got more content coming soon. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.